All right, I'm Stephen Maxwell. I'm the Senior Project Manager with CEC in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, and I'm going to talk about PFAS 101. I'm uh, the leader of CEC's Emerging Contaminants Technical Advisory Group. Um, and as I said, we're talking PER and polyfluorinated alkyl substances, or PFAS. PFAS are a class of over 3,000 compounds that are receiving a lot of attention lately. Uh, they include both PFOA and PFOS, two of the most common that you may have seen about. One of the best known PFAS compounds is polytetrafluoroethylene, or Teflon. Uh, this product was discovered by a DuPont scientist named Dr. Roy J. Plunkett in 1983, purely by accident while working with refrigerants. Uh, PFAS are found almost everywhere in the, our world today, uh, including commercial, household products, food packaging, stain water repellent, uh, fabrics, uh, papers, non-stick products, just like Teflon we talked about earlier, polishes, waxes, paints, cleaning products, firefighting foams. Uh, PFAS can be found in the news somewhere across the U.S. almost every day. So why the focus on PFAS? PFAS were found to be present in over 100 water supply wells during widespread sampling by the US EPA in 2015. In 2009, the US EPA established a health advisory level of 70 parts per trillion for PFOA and PFOS, the two common PFAS compounds in drinking water. In case you're having a hard time visualizing what a part per trillion is, it's one times 10 to the minus 12, or it's about one second in approximately 32,000 years. Many states are taking a more conservative approach uh, and further setting standards lower as five parts per trillion for these compounds. Generally, standards are only set for about a handful of these compounds, about a half dozen. These compounds tend to be mobile, persistent in the environment, bioaccumulative, and are not known to degrade. Their uncertainty or the uncertainty around their toxicology is what's driving these low standards. The regulatory climate for PFAS will continue to be dynamic over the next several years as the EPA works through this, the process of formula, formally regulating PFAS in the environment. Give us a call or send us an email if you have uh, questions regarding PFAS, and uh, we love to work through these issues.